Just like making an amazing PowerPoint presentation, adding animations is a great way to showcase your content and enhance user experience as they scroll through your site. Animations are great when you want to draw attention to a call to action message such as a sign up now button. Or if you want to create a cool animation in effect as users scroll through your site. It also works across various devices and resolutions, so the experience can be replicated when your site is viewed on mobile or tablet. For this tutorial video, we're going to learn how to add cool animation effects on your sites using the Builder. Now let's get started. You can apply animations on any row or module. To start, let's create a new page. I'm going to call this page the animation. Now I'm going to set my page options by going to the Themify custom panel, page options tab. On the sidebar options, select no sidebar and for the content width, select full width. Let's hide the page title. And let's publish the page. Now that we have the page options set up, Let's go to the front end by clicking on the Themeify Builder. Doing this will automatically turn on the Builder when you go on the front end. For this example, I'm going to select a pre-designed row. To do that, I'm going to hover on the plus icon here, click on the rows, and I'm going to select the hero banners. I'm going to add this hero banner. What I'll be doing is I'll be adding animation on each element for this row. So for the first element, text element, I'm going to double click it and click on the animation tab. Here you'll see all the effects that we can choose from. So we have attention seekers, bouncing entrances, bouncing exits, fading entrances, fading exits, flippers, light speed, and many other animations. For this example, I am going to choose fade in right. Or maybe fade in left. I'll stick with fade in left. Click save. Now for the button module, click on the animation tab again. I am going to choose bounce in. But for this one, I'm going to put a one second delay and then click save. Now you have the option to double click a module to open the light box or you can hover and click on this brush icon. It'll open to the styling tab. You can just click on the animation tab again and I'm going to choose fade in right this time. And I'm going to delay it two seconds. And then I'm going to click save. I'm going to open this page on the new tab. And here you'll see the animation take effect on this particular row. Let's make another row. For this row, I'm going to choose a call to action row. In here, I'm going to show you how to add an animation not only for the content, but for the entire row. So what you'll need to do is first hover your, hover your cursor on the row options. And similar to the modules, you're going to click on the animations tab. And here you're going to choose an effect. For this one, I am going to choose the Tada effect. That'll make sure that when users see it, it'll definitely at attract their attention. And when you add animation on a row, you can also add it on the content, on the element that's inside the row as well. So for this one, I am going to add an animation for the button module. I'm going to choose the wobble effect. And I'm going to give it a 0.5 second delay 
just so that when the row animation appears, it won't overlap with the button animation. Click save and make sure to always save the builder on the top here. And now when I refresh the page, you'll see the animation appear on each row. And as you scroll down, you'll see how the row first the row animation appeared first and then the button animation appeared after because I put that 0.5 second delay. The cool thing about the animation is that it also works on mobile and on tablet. This makes sure that when users visit your site using any device, they'll be able to see the cool animation effects you added. And that's how you can add animation using the Fumify Builder. Thanks for watching.